Hello, ZooMed fans. This, we're here at AnimalCon 2023, rolling into the afternoon. We're here with Chris and Casey. Do you want to introduce yourselves a little bit? I am Chris from Garden State Tortoise. And I'm Casey from Garden State Tortoise, <laughs> and we have a reptile sanctuary in New Jersey. What do you guys work on? We, uh, we do educational videos about reptiles, primarily turtles and tortoises, um, and we have a lot of fun doing it. There's a lot of baby turtles on our channel. And uh, it's kind of like our, our family life, you know, as a family, a family of four, uh, just being crazy animal people. I, I feel like you guys have one star of your show, though. I mean, I, I've watched some of your content. Uh, who, who's the star of the show? Casey. Oh, <laughs> man. She's, well, she's the brains behind the our brains. whole operation. But uh, I guess the, the star would have to be Otis, the Eastern Box Turtle. Tell them a little bit about who Otis is. He's a special guy, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's a surrender. Um, that we got, how long has it been now? It's gonna be two years, like next two week. Two years, yeah. He's just this absolutely captivating Eastern box turtle with a personality bigger than this whole building, pretty much. It's amazing. Well, you, you two don't both just, you know, you know, live this lifestyle on social media. You you also live the lifestyle with your careers. You guys are both biologists, correct? Yeah, Casey runs the uh, Terrapin Conservation Initiative, which is a project that she started in 2017 now, I think it's yep. been, uh, which is a, it's aimed at saving the local population of diamondback terrapins. It's all volunteer, permitted through the state. Um, I'm an assistant herpetologist by day. I do radio telemetry with snakes, uh, drift fence checks, you know, just stuff with native herps. And we have a facility with over 400 animals that is, uh, requires our constant attention. That's, ama constant attention. that's amazing. What what species do you have that you're working with? Um, <laughs> See her eyes, bud? You can give us I a think, narrow list. I think we have a, <laughs> over 50 species right now that we're housing currently. As far as how many we've worked with total, I, I don't think I have a number on that. Um, but we work with you know, a lot of surrenders and rescues. So we're getting a lot of leopards, sulcatas, uh, redfoots, um, all the box turtles, yeah. <laughs> pretty much all but two, I think, species of box turtles. Mm -hmm. um, lots of aquatic stuff. We just took in a fly river. Um, we have an alligator snapping turtle. You name it, we have either had it or have it. And, you know, snakes and lizards too. And we have some farm animals and uh, two, two dopey girls. dogs, <laughs> and two little girls. Yeah. It's amazing. The kids always get brought up in this conversation and they're always an afterthought in these interviews. It's like <laughs> this and this and this and this. Oh, yeah, and we have kids too. So <laughs> they run that, that fine line of, you know, animals care and then kid care it's very similar sometimes yeah. do, do they enjoy what you do oh yeah we can't yeah. we can't keep our kids yeah. out of the turtle pens yeah. we're, we're we're definitely very lucky um we we've been raising them around it you know and but we we try not to be forceful about it i mean we're not forceful at all really you know we don't want to sway them in, a, in the wrong way or anything sure. you know but uh they, they really do they love it you know the other day I, I was cleaning our front door and i found two little baby tree frogs that had just morphed you know mm -hmm. and uh um I brought them over to the girls and they were freaking out. You know, it's, it, it never gets old to them yet, at least not yet. Our six year old actually just cried to us yesterday on the phone, um, flipping out about the fact that she can't have an axolotl as a pet because it's Could not you? permitted yeah. in the <laughs> state. Yeah. And, and we we're trying to explain to her, we would get you one, but we can't. And she was yelling out, oh my gosh, I want an axolotl. Yeah, she picked, she had a wall of stuffies that she could pick one she wanted from at a store and she picked the axolotl. Yeah, yep, that's the one. So you're both raising kids that are getting this from a young age. Where did it start with the two of you? For me, um, I was always like the dirty kid on the farm, um, you know, <laughs> rolling over logs and looking under under things and catching this and catching that and stuff. I didn't even know what it was at the time. I've just always been to, into all animals, horses, goats, chickens, salamanders. I loved catching salamanders as a kid. And then, uh, and then we met and he was like, hey, like, I like turtles. And I was like, cool, I like turtles too. And then it just went from there. <laughs> Is that the line you opened with? Uh, like no, that's not the. I, I, I revealed that to her a few weeks, maybe yeah. a couple months into the relationship. But uh, for me, it started. I was five years old. My dad found a box turtle while he was mowing the lawn, and he gave it to me. And I, I was already into, uh, you know, dinosaurs. You sure. know, I that, think dinosaurs is a big one for everyone. Yeah, oh, it's our Jurassic Park. Yep. Yeah, nineties oh, yeah. baby. Oh yeah. oh yeah. So that you know that was it. It just launched from there, and. Um, 
I actually met her through music. I was a musician for a while. And then, uh, you know, when, when we got serious, we decided to start Garden State Tortoise, but I don't think we ever imagined that it would- How, how long to, have you been you know, doing Garden State Tortoise? As an official entity uh, since 2011. Okay. So it hasn't even been that long. Um, I, I had been active in the reptile community my whole life. Um, and then when, when, you know, we got together, I brought her in and uh, we just became like a power couple, you know? Well, how long have you been creating content? I mean, you say you started Garden State Tortoise in 2011. When did the content start? That was accidental. Yeah. We, uh, she got me started on Instagram because we both love taking pictures. We just, good old fashioned wildlife photography, you know? And then uh, we, it, our first viral video on YouTube was an accident and we didn't take it seriously because we, we hatched tortoise twins out of the same egg. And I separated them with, with dental floss. Like she held one, I held the other, you know, and, and we tied them off and they both survived. And we threw, it was like a four minute video we threw up on YouTube and it went to like 3 million views. But we were just kind of like, oh, you know, that's cool. We were getting like news coverage and stuff on it. And we were like, oh, that's really cool. But we, we ignored it. Brian too for yeah, that's video. that's when we first met Brian, uh, Barcheck. And I was just making videos with my iPhone. And then Otis came into our lives and he brought us to like another level. And then she is so talented with, with video editing and, and, and visual arts and graphics design, everything that she took over the videos and that that just took it to a way more professional level between what she's capable of doing, what she can capture on film and how she can edit. And uh, I just sit there and talk. I, I really enjoyed your recent video with Otis destroying a town full of roaches. Oh, that's all you um, yeah. <laughs> And you know, just the idea of where that one comes from, I, I'm not creative enough to come up with something like that. How do you develop something like that out of nowhere? Literally out of nowhere. Out of nowhere? <laughs> yeah, we were set up to do a di totally different video and I was looking at Otis and, and he's got such character to him that he inspired me. I'm like, man, he's, he's like a villain when he's eating, you know? <laughs> and I just said, hold on a second. And I ran back in the house and he's like, what are you doing? And I grabbed some of my kids' toys and I said, help me glue these Jenga pieces together. We just made a cityscape and I'm like, here's a camera, turn it on. And he's, I was like, dump the bugs. And then we just went for it. And it took me, you know, I think six hours to edit one minute of footage. And I just hit every single sound effect I could and, and tied it all together. I'm a huge nerd. Um, I love sci-fi movies and- I think that goes along with dinosaurs movies. and everything else we've already oh, discussed. Yeah, like yeah. I don't care about CGI. I, I'll take it if it's cheesy, I love it all, so. Any big plans coming up? Anything exciting? Well, we did, we did just do the uh, build with ZooMed and um, we got some travel. Next year, we're going to be yeah. going. Uh, we're going to be going to London. Uh, Wonderful I'm a keynote speaker for uh, the the turtle conference out there, uh, and then we might be going to Denmark at the end of the summer for to speak out there. We got uh, the, the snake discovery build off finals When's next that next out? summer. Next summer. So yeah, we've we've got you know, and then this will be happening again. You know, so uh, there's a lot of travel in the works, a lot of filming in the works. Um, and she's got some Otis ideas that are going to awesome. come to fruition That's yeah. pretty Great. soon. <laughs> Do you, either one of you, have any advice to uh, future hobbyists or, or, or content creators? Any Anything to send along to the next generation? Um, I would say do your research if you're interested in something. Look everywhere for it. Find out about it and just get started. Just start. That's how you learn. Make friends, you know, yeah. um, strength in numbers. You know what I mean? I think Animal Con. Con. Animal Con, 100%. You know, everybody here is amazing at what they do. Everybody here is passionate. Passion is what drives everything. So between doing your own research, making friends, getting out there, and just uniting with everybody, I, I, think, uh, I think there's like a movement coming with animal influencers. I, th I think it's pretty cool. You know? That's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you both very much for your time. I very much appreciate it. Thank you guys.